The tropics have calmed down for now, but it's still looking like a very active hurricane yeah. season. CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing is now giving us a big update when it comes to the seasonal forecast. We're just over a month into hurricane season and we've already had three named storms and very likely many more to come through the end of hurricane season. So Colorado State University, which does extensive research on tropical systems, updated their seasonal forecast Tuesday morning. Their preseason forecast called for 23 total storms with 11 of them becoming hurricanes and five major hurricanes. With Tuesday's update, they increased the number of storms up to 25, the number of hurricanes to 12 and six major hurricanes. This does, by the way, already include the three systems we've already had, which was Alberto, Beryl, as well as a very short-lived tropical storm, Chris. This update is significant because if it verifies, it would put us in third place for one of the most active hurricane seasons on record behind only 2020 and 2005. So another big reason for this update continues to be warm ocean temperatures. They are well in the 80s all across the Atlantic Basin, even some near 90 degrees off the coast of Florida. And across the entire Atlantic, the trend is still warmer than average. Now, where we are starting to see some cooler than average water temperatures, the tropical Pacific. But this just brings us back to another factor as to why hurricane season could be more active, and that's La Nina. So La Nina, when those waters in the tropical Pacific are cooler than average that I just showed you. But what La Nina does, it creates less wind shear over the Atlantic, and less wind shear means more storms have the possibility to develop since those winds aren't actively tearing storms apart. Unfortunately, we are just getting started. Remember, we are only here, and peak hurricane season is the middle of September. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.